We are so close to the launch of Final Fantasy VII Remake that I can practically taste it. And just recently, there has been a ton of surprise information revealed on the game. If you haven't caught the first wave of this news, there will be an on-screen link at the end of this video that you can click and watch that too. But in this video, we'll be discussing that there is a brand new interview with the developers of Final Fantasy VII Remake, and they discuss some behind-the-scenes details on working on the remake. First and foremost, we begin with a statement from director of the original and producer of the remake, Yoshinori Kitase, who said that back around the time he was promoting the Final Fantasy XIII series, he was asked so often about creating a remake of Final Fantasy VII that he got used to giving it as a stock answer to journalists. Kitase is saying, quote, The question I always got as we got up to part ways was, when are you going to make Final Fantasy VII Remake? It was to the point where it felt like an alternative way to say goodbye, so eventually I started preemptively giving my response to the question before they even asked it. Well, for those of you who read those interviews almost a decade back now, it honestly and truly felt like that. Kitase said that his excuse given the journalist was, quote, If we were to create a remake of that now, it would be an enormous amount of data. Who knows how many years it would take, but if the right time comes along, we might just do it someday. This is how I'd respond back then. Who knows how many hundreds of times. To all the people I had a chance to meet with back then, the right time has finally arrived. I remember reading this response. I remember reading this response a lot, and I'm glad to know they're finally following through with it. We then have word from the game's director, Tetsuya Nomura, who commented saying it was always his intention to remake Final Fantasy VII, even during the days of Crisis Core and Advent Children. Him saying, quote, I started up the Final Fantasy VII remake project around the time of compilation of Final Fantasy VII. We'd gone through Advent Children, Before Crisis, Crisis Core, and Dirge Cerberus. I was planning this by myself for about a year, as the fifth and final entry in the compilation. Nomura commented that no matter what else he did, he could not stop thinking about Final Fantasy VII. He also directly commented on the concern that some people had that this game would be short. With regards to the size of the game many people are asking about, there's no reason at all to worry. Even in this Midgar portion alone, the density and volume are so great that I had to give directions to lighten them. Again, just this first part of the remake is said to be the size of a full Final Fantasy game. Nomura once said in previous interviews that there would also be no new characters. However, it seems like he's sort of backtracking on that now as that's no longer the case. With him saying on the matter, quote, With regard to new characters of whom I said during past interviews there would be none, though they aren't main characters, their numbers ended up growing considerably during the process of creating a rich depiction of Midgar. When you think about Midgar's final boss, you probably think about Motor. But in this new game, new bosses will appear and add excitement to the story even more. This means there's a very, very high likelihood that the new soldier shown off in previous trailers is going to be the final boss of Final Fantasy VII Remake Game 1, or at the very least a character that was not in the original game as he mentions this all in one breath. Finally, Nomura then comments about Final Fantasy VII Remake Game 2, confirming that it is already in development, saying quote, We've already begun work on the next one as well, but I'm confident playing through this title will expand your expectations just like the world that extends beyond Midgar. Oh my god, I literally cannot wait for part 2. I can't even contain my excitement for part 1. They then talk to the scenario writer of the original and remake, Kazushige Nojima. He talks about when the remake version of Cloud was first revealed to him. It instantly clicked with him and made him say, oh, this is it. But he says depicting this version of Cloud was much different than depicting the original. He says this is because in the original, players had to use their imaginations due to the game's cartoony art style and unrealistic graphics. Nojima saying, quote, In Final Fantasy VII Remake, there will be much less room for player imagination imagination. This fact will probably change the feel of the story considerably. People who know the original might not know quite how to take it, such as a fear that I have, but also I have conviction. It should be possible to feel a deeper connection to Cloud as you join alongside him. It would be amazing if you could feel that fiery flame together with him. And honestly, Nojima is completely correct here. Just the fact that we're going from reading everything and using exaggerated animations to convey feeling, to actually having full voice acting and complete completely lifelike characters that can express a wide range of realistic emotions, it's going to force some people to reinterpret some scenes altogether. Naoki Hamaguchi, who is a co-director that deals with game design and programming, grew up playing
playing Final Fantasy VII, and said it was his dream growing up to make a game like FF7. Lo and behold, he achieved his dream of making a game like FF7, as he is now literally working on, well, FF7. His big thesis on developing the remake has been, quote, I considered the following phrase important, respect for the original. Final Fantasy VII Remake takes on the challenge of creating something that's created, specifically thanks to the technological power and entertainment quality that matches the current generation, while treating the captivating elements of the original game with respect. Certainly a great philosophy, and definitely so when working on a title like this one. Then there's… <sighs> I hate to even mention his name because I already know what the comment section will be like, but Motomu Toriyama, who many of you may know as the director of the Final Fantasy XIII trilogy. While some of you may be internally screaming that he's involved with this title in any capacity, it's also less commonly known that he was already involved with Final Fantasy VII the original. Toriyama was a scenario designer, and of course he's returning to the remake to help redesign all the same scenarios that he worked on in the first place. Which, by the way, includes the events of Wall Market. So if you like the whole Wall Market Don Corneo thing, then then guess what? You're a Toriyama fan, just of his scenario writing, and maybe not so much of the games he has complete control over. The big takeaway from Toriyama, he says that quote, we took care to remake not only the main characters, but also characters like Johnny and the Shinra middle manager, who I created back then. Please keep your eye out to see how they make their new appearances. Additionally, when remaking the Honeybee Inn at the Wall Market, we revived it as a pantheon of entertainment, which could not be realized back then. Here, the scene many of you have been eager to see, where Cloud disguises himself. Please enjoy. Yet again confirming that Miss Cloud will be in Final Fantasy VII Remake for all of those who are worried. Battle director Teruki Indo also has worked on games such as Resident Evil 5 and Monster Hunter World, and is now part of the Final Fantasy VII Remake team. He talked about how hard the team is working to balance the action and command elements in the game. Ultimately, the game is not a pure action game, with him saying, quote, In order to create battles that are surprising and never boring, we worked hard to create a balance of strategic elements for each boss and enemy. Also, in constructing battle systems for each character, we wanted to respect the image of the original version, while additionally introducing many new abilities. I hope you're able to find your own style of battle by combining those abilities with materia. These were all the big takeaways from the developer interview, but if you're curious about reading the unabridged statements of these creators, then there's a link in the description below. With that said, Ultima Weapons, what struck you as the most interesting during this interview with the developers? Subscribe, click the bell icon, and let me know in the comments below. And if you value the content on this channel, be sure to check out the Patreon for the Night Sky Prince. It's thanks to people like Michael Jacob that I'm able to keep making all these Final Fantasy videos. So if you truly enjoy this channel and all the content I have to offer, please be sure to check the link in the description below. Shout out to Michael and the rest of the Ultima community.